Welcome to this OES 2015 demonstration video. Starting with Novell Open Enterprise Server 2015, Active Directory users can now access NSS volumes on OES servers, as easily as they access NTFS shares, on Windows servers. Novell has added support for Active Directory users to NSS by addressing four areas. Access, Authentication, Authorization, and Management Tools. In this video, we will compare the Active Directory solution with its eDirectory counterpart for each of these areas. Let's begin by comparing NSS access by eDirectory users with access by Active Directory users. OES provides access to NSS resources from Windows, Linux, and Mac clients. For versions prior to OES 2015, Windows and Linux clients access NSS resources using the SIFS protocol, while Mac uses both the SIFS and AFP protocols for file access. Additionally, the Novell clients for Windows and Linux use the NCP protocol to provide file services. LUM enabled users can access NSS resources using FTP, SSH, SCP, and Samba, in addition to accessing them using SIFS, AFP, and NCP. Beginning with OES 2015, Active Directory users can authenticate to Active Directory and natively access NSS resources using only the SIFS protocol, after the NSS media is upgraded, and Active Directory enabled, to support Active Directory users. File access for eDirectory users remains the same as it was prior to OES 2015. NSS file access for Active Directory users using NCP, FTP, AFP, and Samba is not supported. Now, let's take a look at how authentication is different in OES 2015. In previous versions of OES, all file access authentication was controlled using only eDirectory. Now, with OES 2015, both eDirectory and Active Directory identities are supported. OES does not duplicate identities across eDirectory and Active Directory. It allows users in an Active Directory environment to access NSS resources without existing in eDirectory. In OES 2015, both eDirectory and Active Directory users can coexist and access the same volume concurrently. When an Active Directory user attempts to access NSS resources, authentication is controlled by Active Directory using Kerberos. For eDirectory users, authentication is controlled by eDirectory. Next, let's review the differences in authorization before OES 2015, and how it works now. For eDirectory users prior to OES 2015, the authorization to access NSS resources using NCP and SIFS happens at the respective protocol level. On the other hand, users who are using AFP, FTP, Samba, SSH, and SCP are authorized at NSS. Beginning with OES 2015, authorization for both eDirectory and Active Directory users who are using SIFS occurs at NSS. The rest of the authorization methods remain unchanged. OES 2015 support for NSS Active Directory trustees uses the same Novell trustee model that exists for the eDirectory trustees to leverage features such as simplified trustee management, visibility, and inheritance support. Windows Active Directory administrators can manage the rights of Active Directory users or groups on NSS resources using a Windows-based shell extension called Novell File Access Rights Management Tool, also known as nFarm. Finally, let's take a look at the management tools in OES 2015. With this release, you use Novell File Access Rights Management Tool and the NSS Rights and Quota Utilities to manage the trusty rights and quotas of Active Directory users. The management tools remain the same for eDirectory trustees. To learn more about the NSS AD solution, please visit the OES 2015 NSS Administration Guide on the Novell Documentation site.